round of that tournament later on tonight. Five News reporter Catherine Gilker continues our team coverage, joining us live on Dixon and Fayetteville, where fans already packing in. Catherine? I'm here outside of JJ's on Dixon Street, where as you can see, there's a lot of people inside, and it's actually been this busy almost all afternoon. With St. Patrick's Day in the first round of the NCAA tournament falling on the same day, bars like here at JJ's are prepared for large crowds. JJ says they are happy to have a full house and they've been and they've really seen business pick back up with all the Razorbacks teams doing so well this year because St. Patrick's Day and the tournament fell on the same day. They made sure they have plenty of staff to handle the influx of customers. They say St. Patrick's Day alone is one of their biggest days of the year. I take pride in the fact that people that want to watch Razorback games come here and uh, you know, everybody here is calling the hogs all game long. Everybody's cheering or crying if Arkansas is winning or losing. Um, so ultimately, we live or die by the hogs, you know, just like our business. You know, whenever our, we're playing great and doing great things, our business is doing great and doing great things. Now we're still three hours from the beginning of the game, and it seems like more and more people keep on coming to Dick Dixon Street, and I can only expect it'll get even busier close to game time. I'm live in Fayetteville covering news where you live. Catherine Gilker, 5 News. All right, Catherine, thanks for updates on March Madness sent straight to your phone. You can download our free 5 News app, find it in the Apple App Store or on Google Play.